Hey everyone, how you doing? Me Tim doing a vlog march on March the 10th, 2013. So how y'all doing on this Sunday? Uh, so how's the weather for y'all today on this Sunday? Well, the weather here in Michigan is cloudy. You can tell, very cloudy. You can see the wind's blowing some. But it's night, uh, nice out. Not not cold, not cold. Just tell some of our snow has melted away. <laughs> yeah, some of our snow has melted away. I believe we got some rain during the night last night here in Michigan. That's where I'm from. Uh, but no snow, no snow, just rain. <laughs> that's one good thing. That's one good thing for us here in Michigan. About time we start losing some of this white stuff on the ground. <laughs> Hopefully, warmer weather will be on the way. What y'all got planned for this Sunday? Anything big? Anything major? Well, I had to take uh, a boy to and drop him off so he can be in a play today at school. He got the last play for today. Yeah, he's in a play. Oh, he's in a play uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and today. It's their last day. And then got to pick him up. And then I got to pick him up in the morning and take him to school and <laughs> pick him up uh, Tuesday morning and take him to school and <laughs> pick him up Wednesday and take him to school and pick him up. Thursday and take them to school and pick them up Friday and take them to school and then I got to pick them up Saturday and Drop them off at the play and I think it's a mom and the stepdad will be back at then so Saturday's gonna be my last day for, for uh, Picking up this boy I think I might have to sleep in my van <laughs> so I could get up and pick them up in the mornings. <laughs> so I could take them to school. Because <laughs> yeah, uh, where I'm staying now, I don't want to bother my friends. So I'm going to probably sleep in my van for a couple this week. And that way I don't have to bother nobody. And, and I can uh, get up and, and take the boy to school and all this and that. Well, I just want to say thanks for Sam for the prayers. And for, we really appreciate it, and and for your family praying for me and my better half Penny. Just really don't know what our outcomes gonna be um, over the animal cruelty and neglect they're charging us. Yeah, animal cruelty and neglect saying that we was mean and everything to our cats, but we wasn't even mean. We loved our cats dearly from the bottom, from the bottom of our hearts, we loved them. But to them, they thought we was cruel to them because, uh, because the house smell, yeah, the house smell because having 28 cats, that's, it's good to smell. It's good to smell. And, and just they're just getting too carried away overdid it they did they overdid it and in, in our local paper and everything and yeah this is my first offense yeah my first offense of animal cruelty so maybe he might be light and let me do uh community service work and the judge and pay off my fines i'm hoping that will happen i'm hoping and but this is my girlfriend's Penny's second offense. So last time, uh, about three years ago, they charged her uh, with animal cruelty. But they didn't get me. I don't know why they didn't get me, but they got her. But this time they didn't do any felonies on her. Well, the last time they didn't do any felonies on her. But... Uh, this time they did felonies on the bubble bus. I don't know why. I really don't. I don't know if it's because we didn't open the door and 
or they well my I was gone at the time and my son and my girlfriend was home and I think they were kind of petrified and too scared to open the door and and uh, that's why they came back with a search warrant and kicked in the door on us so, and that's why they got us on felony warrants I guess I don't know but I, we was never mean to our cats, you know. I'm not a mean person. I loved our cats dearly, and they loved us. They loved us, and, you know. My Penny, man, you should have seen her, man. She, those cats really adored her a lot. I mean, she wasn't mean and cruel to them. She loved them, you know. We gave them anything that they wanted, you know. They threw a fit because they found cereal in cat dishes. But what these cats are supposed to eat if you don't got anything, you know? They're going to eat what you give them, you know? That's what I'm saying, you know? We wasn't trying to be mean to our cats, you know, until we got had money to get them food. Yeah, we over had too many, and I, I understand that was way too many, and uh, I, I regret having that many cats. And now look at the... Uh, big problem that we're in on. I'm just hoping that, you know, the judge the judge will just give me uh, probation make me pay probation and do uh, community service work. That's what I would like to do and I'll get on my hands and knees and <laughs> tell them that. <laughs> you know, I'll tell them I'm sorry, man and it's not going to happen again and i don't want no more animals. I'm through. I'm really through having them. All they do is get you in trouble. They get you in trouble. Well, everyone just wanted to do this blog march to say hey and let you know that I'm still hanging in there. I've been kind of depressed in some ways and, and then been thinking about other you know what might happen and and I've been talking about oh, I might want to uh, do this and do that to myself and I, I just because I'm just afraid to go to in jail you know, just afraid don't want to go for four years I, you know why why put somebody away for four years what's it gonna do it ain't gonna do anything but hopefully the judge will be lean on ball the bus and just tell us no more cats no more cats and make us pay our fines and do community service work well everyone uh, again say your prayers for me and my better half penny Leave them below and say prayers all, every day, every day for us. Until I hope this thing's over with. But y'all have a good one out there and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And y'all take care and God bless. And thanks for watching and thanks for being a friend to me, everyone. I really enjoy, really appreciate it. Again, thank you.